sun rises on my heart. The sun go down on my heart. You may enter. It makes more sense to buy in bulk. Plus, for dessert. Remember when I read that Steinberg book? Steinbeck. Yeah. Is there a kick in the head in there? Because that's what I deserve. Not you, Martha Stewart. Did you see the look on her face? Yeah, total Judge Judy, which is completely ridiculous considering who her son is. Yeah, um, Lucas, did you not pay for Brooke? I paid for it. I just had them wait an extra ten minutes before they let her go. Oh, I hate you. Lucas Scott, that is so unfair. I don't know. Yeah, you know, there might be a kick in the head here somewhere. Scare me! Blah, blah, blah! You're my forever love, Lucas! Are you proposing to me? Lucas, this is really nail. Looks like forever just got a lot shorter! Somerset Mogham? Mary a millionaire and he'd always me away to his private island in the Bahamas. And then you, you did something that I wanted. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting drunk, tattooed and grounded. But in a fun way. I don't feel bad. I guess I'm not exactly an encyclopedia Luke Tanaka. I thought it was you. She went bondage. Bondage. <laughs> Holy crap, Naughty. Your mom's in for the next month, so what are the odds she remembers this? Whip cream and condoms. <laughs> no, you're psychotic! The hell did you hit me for? Hey, you didn't happen to find my, um, and my pajamas accidentally fall off, and I end up in your bed. Just keep it legal. Hey, I need to find Lucas. You said that. You're not psychotic. I mean, a little disturbed, maybe. You think this is funny? I'm sure your parents won't come home. They could. But this isn't their jacuzzi. All work and no brook make Luke a boring boy. Or we could cut out my heart and you could stomp it. I found a quote for you. Makes me feel like I'm still living at home with my parents. Thank you, it's perfect. About the drinking and the death threat. I thought you'd like these two. I am so warming up to being the president! Okay. <laughs> Crazy girl, what are you doing in my heart? <laughs> Bro, whose house is this? <laughs> Come on, you can get dirty. Lucas! I can't say anything bad about Peyton. She's my friend. She's your best friend. That's okay, you can say bad things about her. Oh, bro. Uh, a little privacy here. You're better. Cold? Are you taking a cold shower? <laughs> Have you seen Lucas? Hot water. Gross. You are. You know what? Next wet dream to Peyton Russell. Anything we can help you with? No, this definitely requires the kiss. Shit, my glass is empty. Hey, Cinderella. Okay, paranoid much? Off the kitchen floor. And you're using a sponge. Is that wrong? Why did he told us to read speeches by world leaders? And then he mentioned this Charles de Gaulle guy who I thought was that exchange student that's always spilling his fingers in class. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're waiting for your boy to be here. Do you think I'm terrible at keeping these really cute wedges? <laughs> Answer polls. Well, well, well. If it isn't my favorite two voters in the same place, a little hypothetical here. Say you had a friend living in your room, and she was going through your closet looking for her favorite pair of doing shoes. For president, do I have your support? Well, do I have any choice? Oh, uh, let me think about that. No. Found was this freaky bag of shredded paper that you said was a puzzle. And let's say she got bored. You know, or nosy. So she kind of put the pieces back together, but you be ticked off. You did good, Brooke. I mean, I know I did. Peyton and some other people helped, but it was mostly me. Hey, Brooke, you decent? Am I dressed? Yes. <laughs> decent. Never have been. <laughs>